everybody, I want to do a quick video tonight um, to run through a cool technique that you may find useful for both documentation and education purposes. And what that is, is to export all of your measures into a single file. Um, so this may very well be something that you do if you want to, say, write a blog entry about a report you've done, or if you've got, say, business confidential information and you want to provide the DAX code to somebody but not the entire file. Or it may just be that you want to document a, an important report by keeping a separate file of all your DAX measures. So whatever reason, uh, I want to show you quickly how to do that tonight. And so basically what I've got is a file, just a, a report file that I put together for some visualization practice that has 12 pretty interesting DAX measures in it. And so the way we, we do this is what I always do first is I go into tabular editor and I, using the script files that I wrote about, um, a couple of weeks ago, I go in and, um, do a, a blanket formatting of all my DAX measures. Um, just to make sure everything is, is well formatted before I export. And so, so what we do is just go up here to model. And we just right click and say macros. And then I've got a macro um, script that's format all DAX measures and model. And then we just control S to save those changes back to the PBIX file. And we can close out of that. And now what we need to do is we need to open DAX Studio. And so we do that. And then when, when that opens up and links to the file, um, what we want to do is go to results and select Excel static files. And then in this, this section up here for metadata, go to DMV and then in the search box type measure. And what you'll find is you'll find um, five entries and the third entry is MD schema underscore measures. And you wanna double click on that and then just hit run. And it's gonna prompt you for the name of the Excel file that you want to save to, and let's just call this um, all measures. And hit OK. And you'll see that this executed properly at 12 rows returned, and then um, query completed. And so that is, is basically it. And what I can show you is when we close out of this, and let's go to that file, that what we've got here, we've got the all measures Excel file. We open that up. And then when, when that opens up, um, what we've got here is in the expression column, you'll see that we've got, we've got our DAX, all our DAX for the measures. And those are, those are all formatted nicely. And then there's a, there's a whole bunch more metadata here. And I'm going to do a separate video on that, which is some of the cool things you can do with, with that. So. That is that is how you export all your measures to a single file. Um, hope you found that useful. And um, as always, thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.